Hi, I'm Mayor Borak from Tradent and today I'm going to discuss for you and give you an example of a trade I took in Tesla about trading size which you should not take and that's a common problem for many many of my students and myself included I'm going to show you an example and discuss it today Tesla just broke down under the lows I want to join this trade so I'm waiting for a small pullback just pull back up a little bit and I'm shorting here 2000 shares it's all based on the S&P S&P started with very big gap down today and it's likely to gap and go which means I'm expecting it to move lower under the lows so far Tesla is moving with the S&P and it should continue Tesla itself is down more than three percent so it should come down but now a pullback a very strong pullback which I would call a shakeout it's getting close to the highs touching the highs it did not reach my stop loss but I'm not that concerned because my size is okay in Tesla I was looking for a two point partial and I have a two point stop loss which is okay it's within my target so now Tesla is coming down I'm up three grand it's getting to the point where I would like to take my partial took my partial right now left 200 shares it's not my only trade I've got NTES and as you can see I'm up $1600 here and look at the S&P the S&P did exactly what I anticipated it came down under the lows that's a valid gap and go trade now that was my first trade in Tesla now Tesla is approaching the point where I think it should continue coming down so I'm thinking about adding another one thousand shares to my Tesla short and I will be adding right here 1000 shares now I'm short 1200 shares I had 200 shares for my previous trade left over my partial uh, left me with 200 shares and now I'm short 1200 shares so again Tesla is trending low nothing wrong about that I'm expecting it to continue with the trend and again I'm watching the S&P I've got a red candle at the S&P so I'm expecting the S&P to move lower so that's a valid trade in my opinion I'm expecting it to succeed but the fact is Tesla just kept going sideways one of the problems today is the fact that it is it is Friday so normally on Fridays we don't really have such a uh, big downside momentum or continued momentum anyway Tesla is going sideways it's getting approaching the lows again and at this point I made a mistake I added another 1000 shares right over here 2200 shares now it's close to the lows I'm expecting a breakdown the S&P is moving under the lows my, my, my target is one point under this uh, area over here so I'm, I'm trying to get another one point here so it's going to be a nice trade if it's going to work out and Tesla again going just as you can see just sideways at some point it did decide to come down I'm fast forwarding Tesla now it's one minute candles and here comes the breakdown finally the breakdown now it broke down but it was 20 cents away from my target I'm up more than two thousand dollars at this point it did not reach my target and again if I take a look at the S&P 500 you can see that it did move to a new low but now we've got a small green candle now the problem now is my size I've got a size which is too high now take a look at my PL today I'm up four thousand dollars over four thousand dollars my previous trade in Tesla uh, I earned twenty seven hundred dollars I don't have a big profit cushion and at that point when I'm when I was adding to Tesla I took a big risk by actually moving to red territory if I'm going to give Tesla the opportunity to move up two points from my entry point I could end up in red today and that's not something a trader should do I did this mistake and Tesla did reach very close to my target but actually did not get there so I was ready to take my partial but now again it's moving up and going sideways and now the S&P and that's the main problem is also pulling back up a little bit from the lows now since my uh, since I'm taking a big risk I decided to have a stop over 195 and it just reached that so I just moved out of Tesla at a loss so my second trade in Tesla actually my added trade in Tesla was a loss take a look at the S&P 500 just a small move up I expect the S&P to continue coming down but Tesla forced me to move out the only reason it forced me to move out was because my size I did not use the right technical analysis rules this was no longer a technical trade it was based on my quantity I did not have the profit cushion to hold 2200 shares of Tesla I nevertheless I took it I was greedy I was I, I was sure I'm gonna I wasn't sure but I, I hoped I'm gonna have a winner it was 20 cents away from my target but again I did not play the right technical game I 
traded according to my P&L, which is something you should never ever do. You see the end result in Tesla I'm up $62. So I managed to erase my beautiful trade in Tesla and from being over $4,000 in profit, I just finished this day up $2,500. So again, the, 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 the understanding, what you should be understanding, what you should be learning from this video is don't trade a size you can't afford. If you trade a size you can't afford, if you add to the size at the point where you shouldn't, then you no longer play the right technical games. Then your trades are based more on your size than on the right technical behavior. And you know what? The market did continue to come down. And you know what? Tesla did continue to come down. I had a losing trade in Tesla because I added too much size. So think about that. There's a lot of implications to adding size. That's just one of them. That's just one of them. You can think about risk reward. You can think about technical analysis. You can think about a lot of things. Anyway, I hope it helped. If it did, please give me a like. I will appreciate if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the button right over here. Please remember that my results are very untypical. I'm a very experienced trader. Most of the traders, especially new traders, are losing money in trading. Trading is extremely hard. There's plenty of links right here below. One of them is to my trading room. I post all my trades live in my trading room each and every day. And you are very welcome to join. You don't need a credit card. It's a 14 day free trial right over here below. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video.